Sadly, the English summer was posted missing for round two of International Series England. It's been a misty and overcast sort of day, and birdies were hard to come by. Not for everybody, of course. Graham McDowell has relished being back in these familiar conditions in which he began his career. This is a beautiful putt from McDowell on the fourth for birdie. A 69. He's on two under. He's only four behind at halfway. Ian Poulter played par golf pretty much all the way round until he came to 17. Yeah. A nice little chip in birdie for Poulter. He's on three under, three back. So did it. So Wanarut, of course, led at the uh, 18 hole stage. Looked to have played himself out of contention with four bogeys that are all in the front line, but battled back well for a 72, and he's on four under. Abraham answer was as consistent as Sawanarut was erratic. Wonderfully consistent round from the Mexican. He held this one for birdie at 10, and he's on five under, just one behind. Alongside him, James Pyatt, also a 67, and also five under after 36 holes. Didn't have a bogey in the card. This one of his four birdies. Andy Ogletree of the US leads the Asian Tour Order of Merit and the International Series Order of Merit. It looks like he might take some catching. He had a best of the day 65. This a birdie at the 7th, his 16th. And he is also on 5 under par. But two-man lead on 6 under. David Puge of Spain playing one of the shots of the day. This was a terrific bunker shot at 15. He made his par, in fact, he parred every hole in the back nine after making five birdies on the front. And alongside him at six on the par, going into round three, is Jason Kokrak. Nice par finish at his final hole, the ninth. 69 for six under. It's Puge and Kokrak who lead.